Climate change, overpopulation, and space junk. These are just some of the issues we face here on Earth and beyond. So who's going to come up with solutions for these problems? Hmm, I reckon these guys might be able to help us out. The sonar I made is all about capturing a photo of an underwater animal's life. We're trying to build a habitat on the moon for Artemis 3. And our solution is by designing and printing a team of rovers. Our project is called the SOS, which stands for Small Organism Sanctuary. And it's basically a habitat after bushfires so that um, cats and wild animals um, have places to stay and aren't getting hunted down by wild cats or animals. These students have just competed in the first ever Kids in Space competition. The comp was all about using space tech. That's stuff like rockets, satellites and spacecraft to solve problems. Some students even came up with a way for their teacher to live happily on the moon. He wants to get away from us, basically. He doesn't want to teach us anymore. They don't like me, they want to send me away. So they've designed me ways to eat, ways to get water, it's an entertainment thing, so yeah, they've done a really good job. That's right, they've thought of absolutely everything. I made a ice cream station. You can't eat um, the regular ice cream we have down here. And if you're like me, you can't actually survive without ice cream. The competition was tough, with 10,000 students participating from all across Australia. And the winners were... Team Victoria. <laughs> Okay, there's a lot of them. Well done. Well done. Yep, Team well Victoria done. and Team NT turned out to be joint winners this year with some pretty specky inventions. The Victorians created a way to grow food in space hydroponically, which means without using soil. And Team NT developed a sonar system to work out the best time to cross Cahill's Crossing, a stretch of water home to saltwater crops. The project is designed to spread excitement about STEM subjects and careers, and it looks like it might have done the job. Very, very exciting. Kids in space!